The Galaxy Effect Pack is a simple way to add texture and build different effects for elements on the edit page. Let me quickly show you here. And we'll make this a little smaller. Let's throw a background color in here. And so what I'm gonna do with this is just turn this into a fusion clip. And now on here, we can go into the effects, come down to the galaxy, and we can start to add different effects onto here. So let's go into here. As you can see, we're just adding some texture on there. And we have some options. We can change the texture up a little bit. Zoom in and see that. And we can go in and just keep adding more and more to it. So let's add this and we can just add more texture on there. And there we are. We have a pretty cool looking effect here. If we want to, we can go in and keyframe any of these. So I can go in and keyframe this off. And then let's just move this one second. Keyframe it on. So there we go. Now we have it animating on. And as we can see here, playback isn't so great. So one thing we can do is we can do a render in place, which will take these, render it all out into a video file, and then we'll get smooth playback. So I'll quickly come into here. Let's switch this up and we'll go to uncompressed and we'll get, pick a codec that supports alpha channel and we'll quickly render this. There we are. Now that we have it rendered, this is changed to a rendered clip. And as you can see, we have that playing back at its full speed, perfectly fine. One thing that you'll notice if I click on here, we don't have the effects. So what if you were to go in and you wanted to change something? Well, you can simply right click and go to decompose to original. And then here we have the effects with all of our keyframes available so that we can add more on or take some off. So with these effects, just adding on to elements that are on the edit page, we can actually take any of our pre-made titles that we get anywhere and we can add these effects on there. So let me just add on my social and we'll actually uh, change the size of this, make this a little smaller. I'll switch this over to Twitter. There we are. And now on here, I can go into my effects and then get these with different effects and we can add those effects on to our element. So we're just going to right click, render in place and make sure that we pick proper settings so that we still have the alpha channel. And as you can see, this was all built with a title that we already had within DaVinci Resolve. So you can use any type of logos or titles that are in DaVinci Resolve by applying these effects and then rendering them out. If we ever need to go back, like I said before, just right click, decompose to original. It brings everything back. It even brings back that this was a normal title and we can go in and change all of the settings like we did before or go in and change the effects. One thing that I did wanna show you with the effects is that the way in which that these are stacked will have different effects based off of uh, when, the, when they were included. So if I come in, go in and add this one, I think this is the easiest to show. As you can see, this is the last thing that was added, so it doesn't have any effects added to it. But if we were to take this element and slide it up to the top, we can see that now it's affected because it is processed before the other effects are that chop up everything based off of where they are in the effects stack.